Good morning, you guys. It is currently 6.45 on the nose. I need to head into my workout class. I'm starting a new schedule and I'm going to be waking up at around like 5 30 every day now because joel does trading so he works online he is starting to wake up at 3 o'clock a.m and going to bed at 7 so i kind of want to be more on his schedule just because we eat dinner together we want to be able to like not just ever see each other so i'm kind of like hopping on a schedule just because i like doing it anyways and it gives me a lot of motivation since he's already out of bed so i'm adjusting my schedule a bit to go back to waking up super early but I already feel amazing. I didn't get like as much sleep as I wanted to last night. I wasn't used to going to bed early, but I'll get used to it and it'll all be fine. And you guys, people are so crazy. Oh my God. Because I never really talk about Joel that often just because I like keeping my relationship private. He doesn't have an online presence like at all. But somebody commented on one of my TikToks and I'm really joel was even in it maybe he was like in the background and somebody commented and they were like your boyfriend is so taking advantage of you how you pay for everything and he doesn't even have a job and going off and i'm like when did i ever say that like how did you just pull that out of your ass like you just m completely made that up and it was pretty funny and then like my friend was beefing her in the comments it's pretty funny but it's just like people are crazy like just because i don't share my relationship doesn't mean you could just make bold assumptions like that honestly i just see it as funny like i don't take offense to it whatsoever because i know that like hate is just their problem not mine it's just a reflection it's honestly just kind of entertaining for me but anyways i gotta go but i'll talk to you guys after the workout feel so productive already <laughs> I'm not with nobody, cause I don't wanna hurt nobody Did it over text, didn't call me, still got love for your mommy I know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody It's our birth, it's our day Most of the things I don't wanna say I won't be around while you chase a relationship with discipline is like such an important relationship because discipline is key in your life no matter how it is for you like discipline is going to look different for everybody but it is key i feel like especially for my life to living a happy healthy life because if i didn't have discipline i wouldn't work out i wouldn't get up early i wouldn't do anything i would literally just sit on the couch all day i was just thinking about how it's just such an important quality to build and it's not going to happen overnight but you need to kind of gain trust with yourself and you need to build discipline within yourself and just to even know that you can like rely on yourself is so important these past like few months i've been trying to really grow my relationship with my discipline because i completely like fell off of it and i just feel like the best i've ever felt having a good relationship with discipline and so i would like consider thinking about you and thinking about how do you incorporate discipline in your life and what does that look like for you how does it make you happy etc me pushing myself to get up to work out eat healthy it's not necessarily easy but it's literally like the determination and the discipline that gets me through and then in turn that makes me feel so amazing because i know i can rely and count on myself let's go home and take a nice shower i don't know if i have anything to make a smoothie today because we're gonna go grocery shopping after so we'll see but Let's go shower. brand of salsa that i've been using i don't know if you guys have ever heard of it but i just kind of stumbled upon it in the whole food store if you want to like pause and read the ingredients it's so good and there's nothing added in here that doesn't need to be in here so the ingredients are super clean and yeah so i just wanted to share this is the brand and it's a very very clean healthy salsa here's what i made for breakfast i'm actually starting to eat eggs again just because since i'm cutting out oats <laughs> i really don't know what else to eat and i feel like eggs are okay with me so i just made an omelet I put organic grass-fed sausage into it with spinach. I honestly don't have anything in my fridge, so I'm gonna go grocery shopping today. But usually I'd put like mushrooms, peppers, and stuff like that. But I'm just trying to use up what I have in my fridge. So I put spinach in it as well, and then topped it with avocado, and then the salsa that I just showed you. But it's so, 
so good and salsa on top you guys is so fire i feel like nobody knows this trick but putting it on top of an omelet is so good i'm so excited to eat this <laughs> I start getting ready here is a little update on my neck eczema as you can see it is not the best but it is doing a lot better than this weekend so i'm happy about that i mean there's progress like it's not the worst but it's still there and it's still it's not as itchy as this weekend which is good but we're getting there i know it'll heal eventually as i heal my gut but i'm just trying to like i said manifest it away and not put so much attention on it but i just thought that i'd give you guys a bit of an update so it's currently around 9 30 right now and i honestly feel a little bit overwhelmed today just because i have so much to get done in terms of just like so many aspects like not even just work but our garage is still full with things that i need to look through and i don't even know how like i have so much stuff like i don't even know where it came from but our garage is still full this is getting me through right now but our garage is so full with stuff and i need to look through just so many like little things that i don't even know what to do with but yeah i'm honestly just feeling really overwhelmed because i know i need to look through all of that and then I'm also deciding on what I want to do with my room because I haven't really focused and put much money, put any attention into my glam room here that I'm trying to make for myself. I got this new vanity and this mirror, but I don't even know if I like the mirror anymore because it's like really small and now that I'm looking at it, I'm like I should have gotten something a lot bigger for this wall. So I might try to sell this mirror and then get a new one because I'm just not vibing with it. Like something is off about this room and I think it's this mirror that I just really don't like. So I think I might get a new mirror. Also, I'm thinking that I might want to do wallpaper on this wall behind me, like some cute little floral wallpaper. And I know I don't need to rush anything. Like I know it's really not anything to stress about but at the same time like i just am feeling like i want things to be done and i'm still debating on like what kind of bed frame to get because the bed frame that i want is like 15 1600 dollars for me it's like spending 1600 dollars on a bed frame is like something i've never done before like that's a lot of money for a bed frame but at the same time i'm really trying to destroy my limiting beliefs around money if i can afford it and if i can do it like who cares like why don't i just make myself happy and it's just so important to constantly be reminding myself that money comes to me because i am abundant and no matter how much money i spend like that's always going to be returned in doubles and spending money is like an energy exchange you guys like we always get buyer's remorse like that's so just like a natural thing for us to get but it's like when you spend money you are doing an energy exchange so if the money that you're spending is worth what you want then you're not losing anything you're just trading and when you think about it that way you will never get buyer's remorse because you're thinking of it more as an exchange rather than a loss and when you think of spending money as a loss then the universe is literally going to match that vibration and your money is going to keep depreciating because every time you spend it you feel a lack that is the opposite of what you should be feeling like when you spend money you should feel abundant and it's been ingrained in us since we were younger that we shouldn't be spending our money that money doesn't grow on trees and all these sayings and all these rules and all these things but none of that is actually true it's hard when you have had these beliefs for so long anyways routing back to the bed frame that i want i just need to like pull the trigger on it and just get it for myself i can easily afford that bed frame and i want it so like why am i not doing it it's literally because i have the limiting belief that I shouldn't be spending that much money on a bed frame. Like that is my sole purpose for not getting it. I feel like buying it will be like a good exercise for me. But anyway, so back to what I was originally saying. I definitely want to put wallpaper on the back of this wall because I just like don't know what else to do. And this room feels very, very, very extremely plain. And I kind of want to come up with like a plan for it. But it's just such a good feeling when you feel like you have a place for everything and right now I just still don't feel like that and I know it'll come together soon. I'm honestly really excited for fall just because it's so cozy and I just feel like I've been in summer for so long now because we were in Europe for three months and it was like sunny and hot every day 
and so it feels like i've been in summer for like five months now so my body is kind of like naturally craving a season change which is kind of crazy comment down below if you guys are excited for fall because i personally really am and also i'm just excited to dress for fall it's kind of boring dressing for the summer sometimes because it's so basic it's like tank top shorts and i don't know maybe it's just because i don't really have any like good nice summer clothes but i just like love the fall vibes and like thrifting for fall is so fun and i'm definitely gonna go thrifting this week for me the worst time of the year is like february to may because there's nothing like that big going on and it's my birthday so thank god at least i have that but we're approaching the fall season and then soon enough it's gonna be like the holiday season and it's like the best time of year honestly but anyways i'm just gonna get dressed for today because i just have my crew neck and shorts on i want to put like a real outfit on because we're gonna go grocery shopping i'm also only halfway through this but it's so freaking good the cinnamon just adds a really nice like fall flavor too the mirror that i was talking about that i'm not really that fond of it's pretty small and i just feel like look at how big this wall is you guys i just i don't know i feel like it just doesn't fit the wall properly and a bigger nice like you know statement mirror would look so much better so i'm gonna look into that but i think this room is gonna be the last thing that comes together which is okay but i'm excited ready to leave the house i'm just wearing these white fox jeans with this tube top and just this plain simple black purse but it's kind of like the perfect medium between like summer and fall because i don't really have any shorts that i like right now like i only have one pair and i wear them all the time so i've been kind of transferring it over to jeans and like a tank top because i think this is like super cute and it's not like i don't think it's extremely hot today so this should be fine just because i'm going to be in the stores anyways it's not like i'm going to be chilling outside so yeah this is a little errand outfit for today i have a lot of errands to run so it's better to like leave earlier in the day so i can just get them over with and then relax and chill tonight and do like computer work later because i like kind of going out first thing and then doing computer work later on in the day so let's head out so i just got to indigo this is going to be my first errand because yesterday or for the last couple of days they were having a sale on their home decor and me and Joel don't have pillows for our couch yet we bought two pillows and then we took them home and we hated them because they were just like the wrong shade of cream it was just like super yellow and didn't go with the vibe so i'm gonna stop at home since to return those in a bit but first i'm gonna pick up the new pillows from indigo and they're like circle sherpa pillows and they're so cute and they were like 30 percent off which is really good because i feel like indigo like never has sales i order them online to the store so that i can get them right away and they had three left in stock and that was like the perfect amount that i wanted so i'm gonna pick up those and then try them on the couch and if they don't work out there's always an option to return them they're so cute so i'm just gonna go quickly go in there and pick them up let's let's go in okay i just picked them up they're so cute i really hope that they match the couch I just feel like i ran a marathon like grocery shopping is actually it's fun but it's also like if you want to go to like several different stores it's it's a lot and it's like very draining because when i go to somewhere that's like super busy in public i don't know why but like just like a lot of things that drain my energy and it's more like an energetic tiredness where it's like okay i just want to be like in my house now and don't i don't want to talk to anybody or see anybody not that i was even talking but it's just more of the fact that it's like you're surrounded by like so many people anyways okay let's go home okay here is a little grocery haul so 
I got some ginger for my detox smoothies in the morning and then I got some baby um, carrots These are actually organic and I thought that they'd be like a perfect snack to have during the day and they're so cute And then I got some breakfast sausages. These are like organic and no antibiotics Got some coke sevias, um, grass-fed butter for Joel just because he can eat dairy and then I got a bunch of mushrooms because I've honestly been in my mushroom era I've been loving cooking with these and putting them in like omelets and then I got this coffee from Costco actually It's salt spring coffee and it's organic and fair trade And so I just thought that it would be like a really good blend since it's like healthier getting it organic And then I went to Meridian got some chicken wings some salmon and some pork chops and then i got some organic medjool dates from costco as well and then i got some potatoes and then in here we just got some of my favorite rice chips that only have like four ingredients then i got some cream for joel some peppers some bananas and then some lemons and then i just got salad and spinach I'm just about to make my homemade almond slash cashew milk what i do is i just take half a cup of cashews half a cup of almonds i just soak them in cold water for a few hours or overnight i'm gonna drain this water put them in the blender add in two to three dates depending on their size so i just have three because they're small and then add a little bit of cinnamon and then add three and a half cups of water to the blender it's super easy and then you just got to milk it through a milk bag but it's so easy and it's so healthy so this is all blended up now so i have my milk bag which you could probably get at your grocery store probably order it on amazon as well and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pour what i just mixed inside the milk bag and then you literally just have to milk it like a cow so i'll show you guys what i mean i showed it in my last vlog but i guess this is a different recipe i like this cashew almond milk better than just the almond milk by the way so if you are going to try i would definitely recommend doing both cashews and almonds but try out both and let me know which one you like better I just poured the milk into this jug. I got this from Canadian Tire and I love it so much. I think it's so cute. And I really wanna get another one because I made chocolate milk the other day. And oh my gosh, you guys, in my next vlog, maybe I'll put that recipe. If you guys want it, let me know. But it was so good. This is just the cutest mug. And then you just pop her in the fridge and she's good to go. I'm pretty sure this lasts for probably about a week just because you're not putting any preservatives in it, but as long as you add a little bit of salt, it'll help keep it fresh and then put it in the fridge, but it's definitely gonna go bad faster than if you were to buy milk from the store. So just be aware of that. I usually end up using this all in like during the week or a couple days anyways, so I don't have to worry about that, but that's why it's good to make like small batches at once, but it is so good. Like you'll be surprised how good it tastes. It's so much healthier for you and i'm pretty sure it might be cheaper too to do it this way but yeah so amazing and so quick and easy to make and i honestly really like the process of making it but got my milk and then this is what the bag looks like after you're done and what you want to do is open the bag and inside you'll see like all this pulp inside you want to keep this pulp because you can make like cookies and stuff out of them i might actually make them today or tomorrow so i'll show you guys when i make them and give you the recipe for that but the pulp is really really good to keep because you can do so much with it so do not throw this away but yeah that is my cashew almond milk recipe let me know if you guys make it send me a dm or something or a photo of it and let me know how you guys like it if you end up making it i put the pillows on the couch let me know what you guys think me and joel are just like really under sure i like them but i'm not sure so please let me know your guys's votes down below if we should keep the pillows or not because we need some help we're really just not sure what to do but let me know your opinions because they are returnable so we're just gonna i think like sit on it and see if we like them eventually i just don't know if they're the vibe so let me know Good.
on morning side. Y'all know speak and arrive. If I take flicks with the guys, I gotta put emojis over like three faces, cause the fans can't see those eyes. People that shouldn't be beside. When I was an actor, they would go strap for just to sell food on Bieber's side. Plenty reasons why I'm this way, my girl, that's just one reason why. I seen you around that Soto with Dump Man, baby, you love on some idiot guys. Obedient guys, jokers and comedian guys. You know I'm like six foot two and I write shoe love, but you love on some medium guys. I wanna keep you on the beach till 6 a.m. so you see sunrise. Seeing you from the stage in the 100s, these must be eagle eyes. Pressing against me, thinking about entry, no, you could tell it's a decent size. You wanna know the real me, girl, so you wanna see deep inside. If Chubbs has on a Chanel side bag, you don't wanna see him reach inside. But we know some demon guys with jealous and evil eyes. You know that's how Jesus died, you know that's how Julius Caesar died. I bet they were decent guys, I swear they were. I'm trying to be under your breath like peas and rice You never get treated nice Fool you once, that's fine But you look dumb if you let them repeat it twice 200 mil on the table, I hope I'm able to get this agreement signed Told you I needed time, but really the truth is I don't believe in time Feel like I've been here over a thousand years Like since the medieval times And I'm still just a fucked though king Even though this is recent times A man like that, that would be some way Good morning, you guys. I kind of like coming to my class a little bit early because I just kind of like to sit in the car. But it is the first kind of like gloomy day that we've had in a while, to be honest. Like last night at 3 a.m., I woke up because Joel's alarm went off. And happy that I did because I heard the most beautiful like rainstorm. I find that so calming when I'm sleeping. And I don't know, it was just like so nice to hear. It was like a full on like gush of rain with like wind and it just sounded so nice i was like so happy in that moment my eczema is not doing the best today it's kind of like burning my face right now to be honest and it doesn't feel the best it kind of put me in like a downer mood this morning and i just like don't feel that confident to be honest and that's like a really really sucky feeling and i'm trying to like get over that i just don't want to let my eczema control my life whether you suffer with like a skin condition like eczema or you have acne or whatever it is i feel like it's so important to learn to just be confident or regardless and not let it like rule your mood i guess it's like different when like it's literally kind of painful and itchy but if it's just like for appearance wise it's so important just to like learn how to not let it you know take over your life and ruin your mood easier said than done of course but baby steps in the right direction kind of dreading this workout today to be honest today's just one of those days i just want to like lay on the couch and cuddle up all day to be honest like that's like the vibe of today but since fall and winter is coming it's like it's gonna be gloomy days every day so well pretty much maybe not in the fall because the fall kind of actually sometimes has nice weather but majority of the time it's gonna be raining mm, and maybe today i'll just take it kind of easy because i'm just not feeling my best like my face is burning me but anyways happy tuesday <laughs> happy tuesday oh you guys i got this hoodie from white fox a while ago and it's my first time wearing it and i put it on and I, when I was leaving the house, I went to go put something in the pocket, but then I realized there is literally no pocket to this hoodie. Like, it's just, it's kind of like a hoodie crew neck. It's so odd to me because I have never had a hoodie that hasn't had a pocket here. And I didn't even notice because why would you look like you just assume? But it's interesting. So let me know if you guys have any, ever heard of a hoodie without a pocket. I've just never seen one before. See you guys in a bit. What you want it. breakfast i just made an omelet exactly like yesterday but i just put a couple more things in it since i had like more at home since i went grocery shopping but i'm gonna eat now and this just looks so good and it's only 9 30 which is crazy
So this is my little coffee of the day. I actually just got these mugs and they're from Superstore. I love them so much. They're so cute and it was only $6 and I'm obsessed with it. But I just made myself a warm coffee today because the vibes are cozy. So I made a hot coffee with my homemade creamer, sweetened creamer that I did. And it's so good. It's really hitting the spot right now. But I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this because I just did my whole morning routine and it's not even 10 o'clock yet so it feels really rewarding cheers this is giving fall cozy era right now and we love it hey guys so as I'm literally vlogging it is 222 I was just sorting out everything that I was telling you guys I was feeling overwhelmed about yesterday it feels so good to just like tackle things it's so easy to like make it up so big in your head that like there's so much to do but that's why it's so important to break things things up for yourself and not think about it as this like one huge big daunting task more of like okay if i just do like an hour of this work or getting this done each day it's going to eventually get done and it's not that overwhelming when you really look at the big picture of things it's not actually like a huge deal and it's okay like there's really no need to stress about the little things that we do in life it's just easy to get caught up in that you just have to kind of take baby steps towards things every single day it's like when you have this huge goal it's like okay how am i going to get from point a to point z you don't just jump there right away you go to a you go to b you go to c like baby steps and then you're eventually going to get to the end it's all about perspective anyways i just feel really accomplished and i feel like i've worked enough like in the garage today and just like dealt i didn't film it because i was dealing with like paperwork that like had all my you know stuff on it so i didn't want to like vlog in case you know anything gets exposed so i was just like going through papers and just a lot of that kind of stuff and bringing stuff up and down just like random stuff that i still had in the garage it just feels good to like get part of that done today and like that's just a huge weight lifted off my shoulders but anyways me and Joel are just gonna go out on a walk right now because it's not raining anymore it's just nice to get like some nice fresh air every day i was gonna like get ready to do my makeup today but i decided not to just because i'm literally we're just home today and we were gonna go out today but we decided to do it tomorrow instead so today is just kind of like a get work done at home type of day yeah so we're just gonna go on a walk in the garage i found this mirror that used to be my vanity mirror and i put it up against this console let me know how you guys like it the only thing is is there's like a light switch behind it so that's not very practical i think it looks good but i don't know i was originally gonna get like a squiggle mirror or like something just like more sleek but let me know how you like it because it does match the tone of the wood perfectly so i need some help <laughs> making these um, milk pulp cookies so the pulp that you save that I told you guys is in the bag and stuff for making the milk this is it and what you do is you just mush two bananas and you put them in a bowl and they should be like pretty ripe like if you're making bana banana bread and then you put one cup of your almond pulp then I'm gonna add a third cup of maple syrup and then some pecans and just mix it together so here is the batter all done you can add chocolate chips as well but since I'm avoiding all of that I just put in pecans and now i'm just going to take this ice cream scooper and then scoop them onto the tray then bake them at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes they just take longer because it's they're more like you know thick but i'm just going to spread out the cookies right now <laughs> Here's what they look like. I ended up taking a fork and like smashing them down just because they don't really do that naturally. So if you make these, don't forget to do that. And you just kind of do it like you would like a peanut butter cookie. But now they're ready to go in the oven. They're only three ingredients and they're just so good. They taste really healthy, but they're honestly really good. So 10 out of 10 would recommend, but I'm just gonna bake these and then I'll show you guys after they're done. Here's how they turn out. You want to bake them until they're kind of like crispy on the outside a little bit. I'm going to let these cool and I ended up cooking them for about 40 
five minutes just because I did them like pretty thick. But anyways, they're so good. Try them out if you guys make homemade milk. But yeah, gonna enjoy these now while watching Love Island. Love Island is just like the best show for me to unwind to and I just am obsessed with it. It's just like one of those shows where you can like easily put on and watch in the background too. So that's why I love it. But get on Love Island if you're not on it already. I'm watching season seven because I'm kind of just going backwards. When the new season comes out, season 10 on Hey You, I'm definitely gonna watch it. A Hey You subscription is only like $7 a month, so it's really worth it <laughs> for me. Okay guys, so this morning I'm just on my carpet here and I'm just gonna do a stretching routine. I'm gonna do 20 minutes of stretching and I'm just gonna watch like a YouTube video while I do it. But no workout class today, just gonna stretch it out because I needed a bit of a break. Let's get stretching. And I've never been the one to go apologize. Me, I'd rather hit them up one more time. Known a girl for six months, then I'm up at my place But I got these diamonds on my neck, so it's a blind day All my niggas on the roads, raising up the crime where your name Here is my breakfast today, I decided to switch it up a bit So I did two eggs, sunny side up with avocado and then grass-fed sausage And then I just have the sriracha just in case I want some hot sauce But so excited to eat this So I just got ready because me and Joel are just going to go run a couple of errands. I'm just wearing these sweatpants that I thrifted and then just a black tube top. And we're just going to go to shoppers and then we need to get like a bean coffee grinder thing. So we're going to look around for that and I just need to get like a couple makeup things. So we're going to do a little browse and get out of the house. And yeah, it's kind of like awkward weather where it's gloomy and sunny but it's not that hot so i feel like this is like a really good in between combo i'm gonna bring you guys along this is like literally my epitome of happiness is doing little cute girly errands like this so <laughs> let's go <laughs> okay guys so this is what i got when i was out they didn't have any makeup brushes that I wanted, so I'm just going to probably order them off Amazon. But this is the first product that I got, and it's really, it's like a cream, but it reduces redness. And I saw a TikTok video, and it convinced me to buy it because of my eczema. And it's not makeup or anything, but I'm excited to use this, like, if I ever am having a flare and I want to cover the redness and I have to go out. I feel like this is so much better than putting makeup on it. So just to have this would be amazing, and I'm going to try it tomorrow to see if I like it. This is what it is called, and apparently it's even better than the Dr. Jart Sisapair Cream, or Sikapair Cream, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I will let you guys know how I like this, and I'll keep you updated. And then this is the brow pencil that I use, it's just from e.l.f., and I love the Ultra Precise one. I used to use, like, just their normal one, but this one is just a lot better. And, yeah, this is my little shopper's haul. Right now I'm just having a little snack. <laughs> I put together some vegetables and some dip. This is my favorite dip that I use. It's by Primal Kitchen and it's made with avocado oil and there's no dairy in here. So I really like this ranch and it just has like pretty much clean ingredients. I don't really get too hungry around lunchtime, but I do like having a little snack. So I feel like it's the perfect time to get my veggies in. <laughs> Oh, 
bug. Things I can't change in a ring, so you love me. Listen, you can hear them calling my name. I'm all over the place, I can't sit in one place. I'm not ashamed at all. Still finding myself, let alone the soul made, I'm just saying. Everything I want is coming to me. It's all in the bottom of your time. Sale 2023. Just girls, three girls. You turn on a camera, and then every girl's like, "Girls, girls. be girls." Just girly things. We're not spending any money. Not. No. We're just. <laughs> spending, we're spending. We're spending free money. We're just browsing today. We're spending girl money. Yeah, girl money. Because we're too good to buy. You know, we're just. Yeah. We're just. We got all of the things already, so mm -hmm. we're just gonna. Yeah. First girl. Oh, we're filming. <laughs> Just so kids, bad. look at you, me and your, me and your dad when we were younger. <laughs> me and your dad when we were younger. Ready? <sighs> girl dinner. Girl, girl dinner. from the Aritzia warehouse deal, but I have a story, a story to tell you right now. So you better get your popcorn, okay? Get comfortable and listen. <laughs> like, this is some crazy shit. So we are at the Aritzia warehouse sale, okay? Downtown Vancouver. We rarely do go like downtown Vancouver. Anyways, besides the point. Drake had a concert yesterday and the day before that. So he was here for two days. Going downtown in the Aritzia warehouse sale, like we didn't even think of him because obviously you'd think that like the day after his concert like he'd already be gone so it was me madison my sister and then talia and mary that went all together it was funny because when we were walking there was like eight blacked out cars in front of like this restaurant and mary was just like oh haha i wonder if like drake is still here like maybe he slept in this morning and he's gonna leave later but it was just like a joke so we're at the ritz warehouse sale and we left and then Mary gets a snapshot on her phone of her friend telling her that Drake is at Cactus Club. And apparently he was like there, but they like blocked off the whole section for him. And the Cactus Club is right in front of the Ritzy Warehouse sale. So we're like, okay, like we're hungry. We're going to go out to eat anyways. So let's go to the Cactus Club because like that would be cool if we just like even saw him walk by. Like that's fun. Like let's do it. Like that's fun. Why not? So we go to the Cactus Club and we ended up getting seated like on the patio like literally on the opposite side where they blocked off the restaurant for him so we're like whatever it'd be cool to see him walk out but like we're hungry we're just sitting there and then madison mary they get up to go to the washroom it was all chill and then tally's like oh i have to go pee and i was like yeah me too but i was like hey wait let's order first so we ordered her like dinner first and then i'm like okay like let's go to the bathroom now i gotta go pee so we went to the bathroom and the bathroom was like down this like alleyway like stairs kind of like a basement vibe bathroom so we go to the bathroom and we exit the bathroom and there's like an elevator kind of like near the hallway where the bathroom is that goes probably down to the kitchen like through the back door and we're walking out of the bathroom and i look up and lo and behold drake is right there he is right in front of me guys like drake himself like drake right there okay me him me talia drake and then there was like these two guys beside him with like but anyways, I'm pretty sure they were famous too. 
not sure exactly who they were, unidentified. So, it's me tell you Drake. I literally just like look up at him and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, holy fuck, that's Drake. Like, that is Drake right there. And guess who looks at me back? Drake looks at me and he makes eye contact with me. So as we're walking by, I don't know what to do because in my head, I'm like, I'm frozen. But then I'm like, do I say hi? Like, I had my vlog camera with me. I had my phone. But I'm like, obviously, I'm not going to do that. Like, that is just too intimate right now. This is, this is a moment that a camera should not be taken out because I'm not trying to violate your privacy right now. So I'm locking this eye contact with him. Yeah. Drake's over right there, me right here. Drake is over right there, right across from me. I'm literally right here. And I'm just like looking at him. And like, I don't know honestly at that point what my facial expression was like, just trying to keep it cool. But I like smile at him because I'm like, I don't know what else to do right now. So instead of saying hi or anything, I just smile at him. And he smiles back. He locked eye contact with me for like eight seconds as we were walking by him. It was a good eight second eye contact session with Drake. He was probably thinking like, oh God, this girl's gonna go crazy on me, but I didn't, okay? I, I did not go crazy because I've never met like a celebrity in real life before, like even come across one. And so I have never like actually experienced that before. And I, in my head, like, I don't even think of celebrities as, as like, I, I don't like really fangirl over them in my head because I know that they're just like real people at the end of the day. But at the same time, like society's built up this whole thing where celebrities are like, you know, up here. But like, I also think of myself as up here and like you should too, because like when you're confident and stuff, you think of yourself kind of up here too. So in my head, it's like celebrities aren't like, you know, that worth fangirling over to me. But obviously you have this, your celebrities that you like really like, right? Anyway, whether it's like an artist or whatever it is, you have those people that you really like. And so I never like saw myself as like fangirling ever, but like that was just like the first time I've been in a situation where I was like, holy shit. And like, I did freak out after the fact, like after me and Talia walked away, because we were locking eye contact, walking by, and then I just like, we just smiled and then I walked away and that was it. That was our interaction, didn't say hi, nothing. I kind of went crazy after the fact, like I was like, oh my God, like we literally just, us two, we walked past Drake, like just us. And it was like in a hallway, like, whoa. Cause he was definitely like leaving to go to exit through the kitchen, through the back door. So we didn't have to like go through everybody in the restaurant. Cause I'm pretty sure word was getting out the day he was there. So there was like, a lot of people crowded in the front. We weren't sure like it was because of him or what, but you guys, that happened today. And that's just like so crazy. And weird enough, like me and Talia both spent the exact same amount of money at the Aritzia warehouse sale. I was like, oh, like how much did you end up spending? She's like, oh, 184. And I'm like, I look at my receipt. And I'm like, I spent 184 too. Like we, it was just weird how we both saw him there and like we both spent the same amount of money. I don't know. The universe does not lie guys the universe does not lie and it's all about like kind of like not having any resistance to your manifestation because we like didn't really care that much when we got there if we saw him or not we were just like chilling we just were hungry and like we just ended up seeing him like the fact that us going to the washroom lined up to the time where he was leaving and like that happened is like insane but it's just like pretty cool because who can say that they've been within like a meter of drake before so I have, <laughs> but yeah, anyways, there's no, there's no proof. There's no evidence. There's no photos. There's nothing like I can't show you this moment because I didn't pull out anything because I always see those videos of like people like pulling out his, their phone when they see a celebrity, like you shove your phone in their face. And like, I don't know. I just like kind of always felt cringed out about that. And obviously like that could be people's innate reaction. Like it's fine. But I just like in that setting, you guys, I could not do that. Like. That was like an intimate setting where we were just like alone there. So like that was not a place to pull out my phone. And Talia was on the same vibe as me. Like we both just walked by. And yeah, he was probably like after we left, like those girls definitely knew who I was and were trying to play cool. Like he knew what we were doing for sure. Because like who doesn't know who Drake is? Especially like at our age. So yeah, that is my story time. This could be, it's funny because this could be like complete bullshit. I could be making this up because there's no evidence. Like usually people when they say, oh yeah, I saw Drake, they have like videos and photos or something. But 
it would have been really cool if like we asked for a photo but at the same time there's a time and a place like i just feel like that wasn't the time even though it would have been the perfect spot for a photo because there was nobody there like part of me regrets that but then another part of me is like no like you played it cool you didn't ask for a photo like you just walked by him and like you made eye contact with Drake, and that's like fine but it would have been cool to have a photo like are you kidding that would have been a cool photo but anyways just thought i'd share because who gets to say that every day and it's cute cool fun fab story time <laughs> but anyways i guess i'll show you guys a haul now because we did have a pretty successful aritzia shop and like i said i spent 184 dollars better than last year i spent like 400 and something dollars because i bought two super pups so that's why it was so expensive but i did get a good load of literally all workout clothes like i went in there manifesting to get workout clothes and that is exactly what i got i didn't even get anything that's not workout because i just didn't find literally didn't find anything let's show you guys a haul i'm still so shooken up like i don't even know if i'll be able to sleep tonight to be honest and I'm gonna book a 7 a.m. workout class tomorrow, so I better get my ass to bed after this. But yeah, it's 8:19 right now. Let me show you guys what I got. Okay, so the first pair of leggings that I got are these pink butter leggings. How cute are they? And I manifested a pair of pink leggings when I went in. I swear, because I just have been wanting pink leggings just because I don't have any. But I'm obsessed, and the butter material is the best, and they're just so cute. And these ended up being $30 originally i'm pretty sure they're 60 but good sale so these are the next leggings that i got in person they're like a very very kind of pale pink obviously not as pink as those but i think they look pretty white on the camera but in person they're very pale pink and these are the butter ones as well which is the best material that you can get from aritzia and i don't know why but these were only ten dollars so i'll call it a steal if i do say so myself and these are just the softest comfiest leggings ever so i got another pair of butter leggings and these ones are in like a brown shade which is really nice and neutral especially for the fall and these were only ten dollars as well which was super surprising in their butter material. I just got so much athletic wear, guys. And then last leggings that I got, these are just cream. They're not actually like white because I did pick up a white pair and you can really tell the difference between these and the white pair. I don't think I'd ever get white leggings, but in person you can tell they're more of a like a cream. And these are the same butter ones, $10 so soft but yeah so these are all the leggings that i got and then i got this jumpsuit in the butter material this is like an olive green color this is the back and it's just like a long legging jumpsuit and it's so cute this would be so cute to wear like in the fall to a workout with just like a jacket on top and it's one of their like divinity rompers i think they're called but it's like the butter material and it goes all the way down so it's like leggings and i'm obsessed with it i love the color so then i got this sports bra it was only yeah 15 dollars. just a white kind of cream actually it matches this super versatile and i'm so happy that i found this because i've been wanting a butter like white sports bra this was a really good find and then i also got this sports bra which is kind of different in ruche and i really like it i think it's so cute and how much did i get this one for this one's for 15 as well and then i got this top it's called the cinch seamless but material is super soft and it kind of feels like you could wear this like to like over a workout like with leggings or something because the material is very i don't know how to describe it but i don't know if you can tell from this but it feels like a top that you can like wear with leggings and go for a walk in like kind of athletic wear but not and this was only ten dollars but it's just a nice plain white long sleeve and then lastly the only thing that is not athletic wear actually i forgot that i got this it's just this bodysuit this black plain bodysuit it's a little bit dirty but nothing washing it cannot fix and it's just like super simple and plain kind of gives me skin vibes i just don't have like a plain bodysuit so i feel like this can be super versatile when going out and like dressing up so i thought why not it was only 15 dollars and my size talia actually found this and then she didn't want it so i'm like you know what i'm gonna take it but yeah so that's all that i got from the warehouse sale and i can't believe i got all this for 184 dollars like are you kidding me such good prices <laughs>
you guys i just got to my workout class about to go in i just got these sunglasses in the mail they're from amazon i don't know if they're too small for me but these are really in right now and i really think they're cute but i don't know if they're too small like the frames like if they need to be a little bit bigger let me know how you guys like them but my kilometers on my car when i stopped was 222 of course it was though like that's just the universe showing me that i'm in alignment but like i just love when that shit happens it's like you always have to be so aware of like the signs that you get because the universe is always there showing you signs and they're not gonna like blast it in your face so it's gonna be like a little bit subtle so always pay attention to that because it's really cool when you when you're in alignment and you get all of these signs and you're like shit like this is like magic like it feels so magical but anyways i'm gonna go into my workout class now it is a bar workout class at Oxygen Yoga and Fitness, so it's going to be like a weighted one, and I'm really excited to get my sweat on since I didn't go Wednesday, Thursday, so I'm going to aim to go like three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday would be perfect, and then stretch on my days off. I don't want to like over, you know, stretch myself because after those two days that I went earlier this week, I was like so dead, so let's go work out, babies. <laughs> you guys if you're looking for a natural good deodorant this is the best natural deodorant i have ever used it's by the brand schmitz and i got it at shoppers drug mart so you can probably get it like anywhere like that locally this scent is the best they also have lavender but this one just smells so fresh and i'm not kidding when i say i never smell bad because of this and it's so good this spray one i like it better just because the stick leaves like white marks on black clothes all the time but this one, you guys, does not leave any um, like streaks or anything, and it's so amazing. So this is my little deodorant recommendation. I've been wearing this every day, and Joel has been stealing it from me too. He is like, oh my god, this deodorant is so good, and because he's tried other natural ones that are not as good, but I'm putting you on this right now because it's amazing. Okay, so I'm just making breakfast right now, but I'm doing yams and just regular yellow potatoes because I didn't have enough yams. But I just flavored them with olive oil, salt, paprika, and garlic powder. And now I'm just going to pop them in the air fryer for about like 30 minutes. I'm going to do 15 and 15 and just like shake them up around like 350 degrees. So excited to have this. I'm going to put two poached eggs on top and it's going to be so good. so i'm just getting ready for bed all day today i was sat on my computer editing and for some reason my laptop has been glitching so it was just like really frustrating and it's been taking me way longer than it should to edit this video but nevertheless i was editing all day so that's why i had nothing to vlog and then me and joel just started watching the ultimatum tonight so that's about it and right now it's only 10 o'clock and we are heading to bed because we've been on like such an early schedule that our bodies are so adjusted and they're so tired so we're heading to bed now and i'm just gonna brush my teeth i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video because i'm trying something new here with the long vlogs and i just feel like my other videos they weren't like genuinely me every video that i did and do it they they just had themes to them and they weren't just like authentically like me like just like my day-to-day -day life it was just like a themed video which is good i feel like but at the same time like i was just missing that aspect of like showing you guys like my daily life without any planning involved for what the video title is going to be what i'm going to do and i feel like it's just so much more authentic and right now like authenticity is very in but short form content is very in as well i know long form content is like not as in right now but i'm gonna give the people what they're not asking for because in my brain like i always do the opposite of what everybody else is doing and that's just like always what i've done 
is I literally just always go against the grain. So that's what I'm doing here with this long vlog. So I'm going against the grain. I'm posting what I want and we'll see how it does. We'll see how it goes. But let me know how you liked this long ass vlog because if you're still here listening to me right now, like you're a real one and like thank you so much. This is like, I guess, really stepping out of my comfort zone for me in a way because I don't think I've ever posted a vlog this long before. And it's just like literally my life. Like I took you guys along the week. Like there was no bullshit. Like I didn't add anything for this video. Like it was just me authentically being myself, going through my day-to-day -day stuff. And I hope you guys liked it. So let me know feedback, please, in the comments if you want to see more of these. If you prefer themed videos, like I just want to know your guys' opinions because obviously you're subscribed and watch clicked on this video of me for a reason. So it would be really nice to know your opinions. And it's like, you don't have to watch the hour long vlog either. You can like watch a bit of it every day until you get to the end. Like, I feel like it's just kind of like cool. Like no YouTubers that I know really post like vlogs that are an hour long. So I was like, you know what? Like why not just like show everything and you know, let you guys a bit more into my life and just be more intimate with the camera. So you can like watch this like a movie. You can do it all in one sitting. Yeah, at the end of the day, I just always follow my gut. And this is what my gut has been telling me is like, just be authentic with the camera and you know, make the video as long as you want because who cares what's on trend and what's not. Like, I don't want to give a shit about that anymore. And I just want to do me and post what I want and that's it at the end of the day so but anyway so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next sunday